I sent her the pictures and she's like, oh my God, you're so good. Of course I'm so good. Of course I'm so good, but are you mad? It's not my work. Hey y'all, this is, okay, hey y'all, this is your girl, Olivia. <sighs> my name is Olivia Kalinda. Hey y'all, my name is Olivia. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking the video. Thanks for subscribing to it. I very much so appreciate it. Anyway, basically, um, as you can tell from the beginning of the, from the title of this video, I am going to be doing get ready with me. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna lay my, I'm just gonna lay my wig, and we're gonna see what happens. Today I'm using got to be glue because I honestly want to take this wig off tonight. Hmm. Do not get this in your eyes. Not a good experience. 10 out of 10 would not recommend. We're alive, we're alive, we're alive. We're alive, we're alive. We're alive, we're alive, we're alive. Oh, just a little bit about myself. I'm in my 22nd year of life, but I'm 21 years old and I'm Congolese. Kasaya, where you at? Really, can I say it at? We here. We do. We do. No. What thing about me is that? Get out. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. My how come is there not heating up anymore? Jesus, please, please, please let this how come work. Please, Jesus, please. Plans for my future, I actually have no idea. <laughs> I'm just living my life one day at a time. So one big thing that I've been working on during 2021, um, I've basically just been trying to, you know, work on my relationship with God. Trying to improve that, trying to pray more, be in my word more. Be more intentional with God. I think that's like my word for the year. Intentional. I'm not just reading my Bible for the sake of reading it anymore. You know what I mean? I'm reading it because I want to know who Jesus is for myself. I don't want to be... I don't want people to be telling me, Oh yeah, Jesus told me this. But I'm like, bro, like, why Jesus ain't tell me nothing? You know? You know what I mean? So that's kind of my life goal. I mean, <laughs> my my uh, my uh, New Year's resolution, I guess. Not really, but my 2021 like perspective. You know what I mean? My relationships outside of Jesus. Non-existent. <laughs> Boyfriend? No. God. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Disappeared. Literally disappeared. God. Okay. Okay, you know what? Close the door. What are you talking about never came? Why would you say that? It's not funny. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never Anyway, um Yeah, non existent is the good is a good word to use, I think. Friends, I only got like two friends. I'm trying to make more friends, wait. Are you kidding me? Why are you laughing? Because why you say it like that? That's not lonely. I'm not lonely. It's just that I literally only have two friends. You know, I'm working on my friendships. I'm working on being more social. But, you know, for the longest time, I really did think I was, like, socially awkward. And the thing is, I'm not going to lie, I kind of can be a little bit socially awkward. Like, you're not going to feel like, okay, I don't think social, like being saying that I'm socially awkward is the right word. I honestly think the right word is internalized social anxiety. Do you get what I'm saying? Because when I'm around new people, I overthink too much. And I'm like, oh, am I seeming interesting enough? Am I this enough? 
Am I singing engaged enough? Like I too much stuff goes through my head and it just stresses me out. And I don't like awkward silences. And I don't like small talk because it makes me feel even more awkward. Like I'm not really engaging with people. So I just don't. I can talk openly with my clients, new clients, forever client. You know what I mean? But that's because you in my house. So it's different. You're in my house. So it's like, why am I being weird in my own house? But if I get invited to somebody's birthday and I got to socialize with people I don't know or people I've only met on like Instagram, there's like an expectation. You know what I mean? There's an expectation. Oh yeah, I've seen Olivia on Instagram. I see she does this and that. She seems funny. Or I see her talking smack on Twitter. So she gonna talk smack in real life. And then I get there and I'm like this. It's just not adding up. And I just feel like, I don't know. People expect you to be who you are on social media and I'm an imposter on social media, you know what I mean? So that's like, I don't know how these baby hairs are looking, honestly, no idea. However they turn out is just however they turn out. There's, a, there's definitely an expectation, I lost my train of thought, uh, on social media, who you are, but you know, whatever. I only have two friends, and I'm honestly content with that, but I do feel like I need more friends. Not a lot more. Like, just a few more friends. It's just like, sometimes you want to have options. Like, if you're bored, you want to have a few people that you can call up and be like, Hey! Wanna hang out? Wanna go out? Wait, I'm gonna be back after my mom is done shouting. Yeah, so here's the thing. I said that I don't have a boyfriend, which I don't. I can attest to that being true. I do not have a boyfriend. Um, But you know what it is though? Like, I'm cool with it. I honestly want to be left alone. I want to be left alone. I just, I like the fact that after a long busy day, there's nobody who is like, Oh yeah, come over. Oh, I want to hang out with you. Oh, I miss you. It's been long since I've seen you. Like, I just want to relax. I just want to breathe. You know what I mean? Like, it's not every day, like, oh, hanging out with my man. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just, I'm kind of over it. I'm kind of over it. For now, for now, for now. And some of them like, hey, is it actually that because I don't have, because I don't want to spend my time with somebody? Or is it because I haven't found somebody to give my time to. Like what is actually the situation? And I don't know what it is, but I do know one thing for sure. One thing remains that I don't want a boyfriend. No boy, wait, no. What's that song? No drama, no girl, no drama. No girl, no pain. No woman, no cry. No boy, no pain. Hallelujah. No boy, no pain. Oh, <laughs> I said, I own a hair company called Kalenda Collection. She is three years old. So this is the story about how I started Kalenda Collection. Or just style by Kalenda as a whole, okay? So basically, I was 15 years old. I was working at um, Dairy Queen at the time. I was a supervisor. Minimum wage was like $10 and 98 cents or $9.98 or something like that. And I was gas. I was gas. The thing is, I can't talk and look fine at the same time. It's very hard. Yeah, I um, basically couldn't afford my life at the time because I had a phone bill and I used so much data and you know when you like overuse your data and like they be telling you like, oh, um, careful, like you have, you've used 80% of your data or and then finally you use all the data for the month and they tell you, okay, yeah, you've reached 
this much usage of data and there is a $20 or $50 charge. If you want to continue using your data, click the link or whatever, but by clicking the link, you have accepted the charges. And I would just click, okay, like I would click the links and I would have more data and I would use my data at home. I would use my data at school. I would use my data at work. Like I was using my data everywhere. Next thing you know, I see my phone bill is $1,200. I said, hmm? I said, oh, okay, that's a bit frightening. I didn't really know what was going on. Mind you, I had only gotten that phone for like four weeks, not even at that point. It was like two weeks in. Another two weeks go by, I see your phone bill is $4,000. Oh my God. Oh Lord. <laughs> Me, Shaq, Eshaq, and Abednego. Okay. I said, what in... <clears throat> I said, what in Golgotha is going on? <laughs> <laughs> what in the bomb in Gilead? I said, what in the bomb in Gilead? Am I doing with my life right now? Huh? Anyway, so your girl needed, like I was saying, like I was, I was in debt. I needed to make a buck or two. So I started doing my own hair and stuff like that. And I'm not gonna lie, like the first time I did my hair, I thought I did an amazing job. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I was that girl. Like, I remember walking to the bus stop, I was like, dude. Let me insert a picture. Mm. I look like these. I also look like this. I was just walking around. I remember walking to the bus stop and people were looking at me. And I was like, they're looking at me because they ain't never see my hair look this good. Okay. But the truth of the matter is, it was looking jank up. Anyway, this is the best I could do. I don't have a hot comb. It just, it just is what it is. Anyway, for some strange reason, I kept on doing my hair and I was getting a little bit better every now and then. So this is grade 10. It wasn't until first year of university, there's this girl. Oh, she's actually a YouTuber, so it's fine, I can call her. Portia K. It's actually funny because I don't think she actually knows this story. I have told a lot of people this story and she actually does not know that this is what happened. Her and her best friend, I remember this is when Instagram first started coming out with stories. She was kind of new to Calgary at the time and she was like, yeah, if you guys know anybody in Calgary who can do closure sew-ins, you know, please let me know. I looked at the story. I swiped, I said, nah, let me respect myself. I swiped back, I said, hmm. I swiped back, I said, nah, let me respect myself. Because one thing about Calgary, if you don't know, Calgary word travels very fast. And already, like, I don't know how, like, but Portia was already making noise in Calgary. Like people knew who Portia was. People would literally message me and ask me like, oh, like who's this girl? Who's Portia? Do you know who she is? I said, I don't know. One day she just ended up on my feed and I follow her cause she's cute. You know what I mean? Portia's just always been like that chick, at least to me. I always seen her as that chick, okay? So basically I messaged her back and I said, hey girl, uh, yeah, I actually do hair. And she said, oh, that's awesome. Can I see um, some pictures? Then I started. <laughs> because I only did like sew-ins with, with leave out. Like at the time, that was what was in. We had just been introduced to closures, to frontals. Like at the time, what was in, like Vixen sew-ins were really in at the time. That's what people were going for. That's what people wanted. So now closures came in and I'm like, bruh, I am a YouTube hairdresser, like I don't actually do hair, like I just do it for $50, you know, so people can, you know, so I can make some extra cash. I go on Pinterest, I took some pictures off of Pinterest, I took some pictures off my friends' Instagrams. Listen, it, I had attempted a closure at the time, but it wasn't really giving, you know, so I sent her the pictures and she was like, oh my god, you're so good. Of course I'm so good. Of course I'm so good. Are you mad? It's not my work. Anyway, to make a long story short, she was like, yeah, so you're going to be doing um, me and my friends makeup on campus because we all went to the same school. I was like, no worries. I end class at this time. I'm going to meet you there. So I get there. Mind you, during my last class before I actually met up with her to do her hair on campus, I literally was watching YouTube videos, how to do a closure sewing. So I get there, my hands are shaking. Mind you, we've already kikied on social media. I've told her basically I'm the best hairdresser in all of Calgary, in all of Canada. With the pictures that I sent her, you would really think I'm the best hairdresser in all of Canada. Like, 
what the heck started she said you're gonna do my best friend's hair first because she had to go and catch a bus and go back home i said no worries no worries i did her hair it actually turned out spectacular like i was <sighs> spectacular for the time for 2017 not for now so anyway i did portia's hair portia i'm sorry i'm sorry i mean it turned out all right it turned out all right it's just that i did her friend's hair better i would also like to put a disclaimer i do not lie like that anymore i don't lie i don't feel the need to lie like if i can't do it i just it's better that you say you can't do it rather than you come and kill yourself just to make someone you can't do it you mess it up next thing you know people are posting you on social media lying on you telling you oh you did this you did it and it's not the truth so yeah that's how i basically um started after that she really gassed me up because she loved her makeup duh i mean her makeup she loved her hair i ended up making a uh, instagram and literally just like that like it kind of took off it was by accident it was by accident i've been doing hair i guess now for three years it's been fun it's been good i don't know if it's the camera am i looking sexy i'm looking a little sexy right okay okay just finish a look hope you guys liked it please like subscribe share the video Put it everywhere, everywhere, everywhere so people can just be seeing it, okay? Thank you so much. I appreciate you people being here. I will see you again next time. See you soon.